division of a decimal by a two-digit decimal. Uh, this time we're looking at a decimal divided by a decimal. Uh, you can see in our example we have 83.7 divided by 6.2, so both numbers are decimals. And we talked in an earlier video about how we're going to want to rewrite this as long division, which means we're going to have to switch the order. 6.2 goes into 83.7. Uh, now, again, in an earlier video, we talked about dividing by a whole number and how kind of straightforward that is. But this time, we are dividing by a decimal, 6.2. I would really like to turn that into a whole number so that I can follow those same procedures that we had earlier. And we can do that. We can move this decimal one place from after the 6 to after the 2, as long as I move it the same number of places in the other number. So I can turn that into a 62 if the 83.7 becomes 837. Now I can place my decimal and I can do the division because now I'm actually dividing by 62 instead of 6.2. Cross that out. So 62 goes in first to 83. 62 goes into 83 one time. So 1 times 62 is our 62 we can subtract that gives us 1 and 2 so 21 bring down that next digit whatever it is in this case 7 uh, we have 217 62 again a whole number because I've moved the decimal goes into 217 three times so 3 times 2 is 6 3 times 6 is 18 we do that subtraction once again and let's see one borrow over here 31 so since we're dealing with decimals we don't want to have a remainder we want to keep going and kind of see what happens here so I'm gonna add another zero after that seven so that I can bring it down 310 and that allows me to keep going 62 goes into 310 five times. Five times two is ten. Carry the one. Five times six is thirty plus the one. Thirty-one. And that was enough to give me what I wanted which was no remainder. So I've already got the decimal placed in my answer because I just moved it straight up from where it was. So our answer here is 13.5.